flat twin engine ain't that common and that may not be a bad thing. Its strengths are not always that important and its weaknesses are too major to ignore most often. The flat twin unit will always run smoother than an inline or V engine and here's a selection of some of the nicest sounding ones. BMW Type 255 Also known as the BMW 500 compressor, the Type 255 was a racing bike with twin boxer cylinders paired to a solo supercharger. It was a 4-stroke double overhead cam engine, but it ran on a gasoline oil mix to lubricate a 15 psi pushing compressor. Reportedly, this is the most expensive motorcycle, being auctioned for $480,000. Toyota Sports 800 The Toyota Sports 800 is also known as the Yota Hachi, in short meaning Toyota 8. Unlike the concept, its engine was enlarged from 700 to 800cc and had a pair of carburetors. Still, there wasn't that much power, but remember, this was 1965, enough for the top speed of 100 miles per hour, as it weighed something under 600 kilos. Steyr Puck 500 This little 500 was produced in the Steyr Daimler Puck factory in Graz under the Puck brand. In its core it was a licensed body from Fiat, powered by a different engine layout. The original inline twin was swapped for a flat twin unit of their own production. It proved to be better and much smoother running. <laughs> BMW R1200 series. BMW's twin cylinder box engine has been tuned over time. It was even upgraded as the new generation, sharing the old model's volume and born stroke dimensions. There was no force induction, but cooling by air was later swapped for liquid cooling. HK700E. This is a very lightweight aircraft unit that is mainly air-cooled with air and oil-cooled heads. It is indeed produced by the HK's company you already know about and is meant for powered parachutes, ultralight aircraft and trikes. It has dual carburetors, dry sump lubrication system and requires an overhaul every thousand flight hours. DAF 600 The Dutch automotive company DAF has made various flat twin powered passenger cars, including the 600, 750, 33 or 44. Alongside the engine layout, they all had one specific thing in common, and it was the CVT transmission called the Variomatic. The 600 was the first car to use a CVT after the 1923 British Kleino car. 